Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, Shalom, Yasharal and Yehuda. Grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. Listen, I got some truth. I got some absolute truth. I have some basura of truth. And I have to tell it. Got to say it. And as none other than the pastor John J. Tatum has stated, you may not like it, but I got to say it anyway. Because it's the truth. Yahuwah, I give you praise right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach for the Basora of truth. I give you praise for the word made flesh, Yahushua Hamashiach. And not only that, I give you praise, Yahuwah, because the word that you instructed him to give to me, he has given to me, and I've kept it. Yahuwah, I walk in this Basora, this Torah of truth and obedience as instructed. Yahuwah, listen, I trust in the Basora of truth. I've received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, the Ruach HaKadosh, the baptism and the blood. I've received your witness, Abba, your witness, the Torah, Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKadosh, and the Shamaim. Yahuwah, I'm thanking you. I'm asking you, Yahuwah, to take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Yahuwah, speak through me this truth. This basura of truth that has to be preached, that has to go out in the power of the Ruach HaKadosh Yahuwah. I'm praying that you would not cause me to have anyone to be turned out of the way. That you would not cause me to cause anyone to stumble. That you would not cause me to cause anyone to come up lame, Yahuwah. But that I would be, that you by the Ruach HaKadosh would bring a word that would be encouraging in, in, in a due season way. Yahuwah, I submit myself to you in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, and I believe your Torah. I believe your Basora, Yahuwah. I believe in your commandments. I believe in your feast days. I believe in your Shabbat. Yahuwah, I receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. I thank you for the Ruach HaKadosh for which you have freely given me. I receive it in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahuwah, now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Listen, I have some truth. I speak by the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. Right? I've received the Ruach HaKadosh, therefore now I have the love of Yahuwah on the inside of me, which gives me the ability, the capacity to speak the love, speak love in truth, the absolute truth. I don't do it for price or reward. I do it because it's something that I have to do. Pastor John J. Tatum, I got some truth CD. The song is entitled, I Got Some Truth. And I don't own the rights to this music, but listen, I got some truth and we going in. We going in, in the name of you, shall my, yeah, listen, right? I must preach. I must declare. I must give you this basura, this Torah that Yahuwah has given me to give to you. I, I have to do it. I mean, I to do it I, I i cannot choose not to i mean listen i could choose not to but you know then i choose to operate outside of the rule i caught the dash i choose to disobey and i ain't got time for that i'm not i don't have time for walking in disobedience i don't have time for that because see i understand that the blessings of yahuwah are a result of obedience and receiving and walking in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. See, I can ask 
whatsoever things I desire when I pray because I have this place, this position as a son of Lua, right? Like Yahushua, he could ask the father anything because he was a son, right? But see, I've received the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah and Yahushua in me, which now makes me a son, which gives me the right to ask anything because you don't have the right to ask Yahuwah nothing if you don't have his Ruach HaKadosh. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. You don't have a right to ask Yahuwah for anything without having the status of being a son or a daughter, right? He don't hear you. He does not respond to you, right? He doesn't. He responds to his own. Yahushua said, listen, when you ask he will give it to you because you have already received his Ruach HaKadosh. And therefore, you're going to ask according to his will or according to his Torah, according to his Besor. Listen, he's going to answer you. But if you don't have his Ruach HaKadosh, you, you ain't none of his. He ain't got no obligation to answer you. Listen, let's, let's go in. We're going into Colossians, right? And we're in Colossians, the third chapter. Again, you know, you're going to see the similarities that uh, exist in Paul's letters to the various churches. Because again, the message is not a different message, right? I mean, we often seek for something new when in reality, the message is still the same. You need to receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach in order to be a part of Yahuwah's kingdom. That's the message. That's the message. You have to receive his Ruach HaKadosh, his witness. You have to receive the witness in the Shamayim. You have to receive Abba, Father. You have to receive the word, Yahushua HaMashiach. You have to receive the Ruach HaKadosh, which witnesses and testifies to everything, right? And then in this Yeshua, in this, 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 this salvation that comes through faith in Hamashiach, you have to receive the witness in the Uretz. You have to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to receive the, the baptism in water. You have to receive the blood. Listen, you're going to hear me preach the same thing because that's the message. There is nothing new under the sun. That is what Yahushua has called me to do, to teach you, to preach to you, that you need to receive his, his witness, his Ruach HaKadosh, his water baptism, and his blood. Listen, listen, that's, that's the message. Listen, that's what's going to separate you in the Shamaim. That's what's going to, that's what's going to separate you unto Yahuwah and Yahushua. The witness that's what's going to cause you to be sons and daughters right that's what translates you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of yahushua and yahuwah having received the witness if you haven't received the witness then you ain't translated into nothing you are yet carnal and in your sins you are yet in darkness listen listen the awakening is yet in darkness if it has not received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. You are yet like your fathers if you have not received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach that did deny Yahushua HaMashiach. Your fathers that said, listen, let his blood be upon our hands and our children's hands, right? Because you have not yet received the witness. Listen, it's important to understand who you are as a people, right? It's, uh, it's important to understand who you are as a people. But listen, you have to receive his witness. And that's why I'm here to preach this Basora, this Torah. Listen, that's why this message is not going to vary. It's going to always land back on having received the Ruach HaKadosh since you believe. Right? Have you received the witness of Yahuwah and Yahusha? Are you walking in this renewed covenant? Right? Because this renewed covenant is established on better promises, right? Because the promise in the original covenant only pointed towards Yahusha. But the new covenant incorporates the 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 life of Yahusha by the Ruach HaKadesh if you receive the witness. 
Kakadesh, go forth and let your word come out in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Listen, we're in Colossians, right? And Paul is, uh, again, in his letter to Colossians, exhorting them to understand the need to walk as ruako filled led individuals, right? Right? Walk as you have received the witness, the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Don't allow yourself to be swayed or, or beguiled by a bunch of people who are going to try to come in and undermine you. You walk as you have received Yahushua Hamashiach and the liberty that you have received in him as a Gentile. Right? Right? You are not obligated to be circumcised. That covenant was not to you. It was not a mandate to you. It was a mandate to the nation of Yasharal. Now, if another nation wanted to be circumcised, right, and be named amongst the people of Yahuwah, then they could have, right? But they weren't, it wasn't a mandate. I mean, there were certain things that they had to do, right? But listen, that was a covenant that was established for a people, right? That Yahuwah had set apart, right? And the covenant in of itself didn't guarantee Yeshua for them. It wasn't a guarantee for Yeshua. Listen, because if it guaranteed Yeshua, now they were, if they didn't circumcise their children, they were automatically cut off. But the idea is, is that Yeshua in and of itself, right, it identified them as a people belonging to Yahuwah, but they had to walk into the obedience of the commandments. They had to keep the Torah. They had to walk in in obedience, right? So the Gentiles they had never had that covenant. They had never had that relationship with Yahuwah, right? They were introduced to Yahushua Mashiach and they received the witness. And because they received the witness, Yahuwah don't deny anybody who was willing to receive his witness, right? But you know, you have these, these, these Judaizers, these the Yahudim that was telling them, look, you got to, you got to keep the, you got to be circumcised. You got to keep all of the ceremonial washings and you got to keep all of this because if you don't, then, you know, you can't keep a new moon. You can't keep a Shabbat. You can't keep none of that because you unclean, right? You, you're a Gentile. You ain't, you ain't, you, you, you haven't established yourself by circumcision, right? Paul said, listen, I've been going through this with these people forever, right? They constantly trying to come in and undermine your liberty, right? Yahushua has wrought salvation in you, right? Through faith in Yahushua Hamashiach, you're receiving his witness in the blood of Yahushua, right? And having received the Ruach HaKadosh, these three agree. You have received them. Yahuwah has been manifested in you. Now they trying to heap some stuff on you that you don't have to even be concerned about, right? You just need to walk worthy of this having received this Ruach HaKadosh. Now, this is a blessing and this is a privilege, right? You can't think yourself better than them, right? You can't think yourself better than them because Yahuwah gave them the Torah. He gave them the commandments. He gave them the statutes, right? They are his people, right? You can't boast yourself against the branch, you know, because Yahuwah chose to graft you in. Right, it doesn't mean that you replace the you replace the Yahudim, right? It just means that you who allowed you to be grafted in a wild olive branch into the into the into this into this covenant disagreement, right? But what you have to do is you have to walk worthy of what he has given you. Now he's given you the capacity to walk in this, right? And it's foreign to the Gentiles, right? The Gentiles were used to living a certain way. They were used to conducting themselves a certain way. They were they were used to, you know, fornication not being a big deal. They was they was used to uh, um, all of the things that the Gentiles had had all the things that the Hebrews had laws against. You know, they didn't have any laws against that. You know, you know they were Greeks. They were barbarians. They were Cynicians. They you know these were these were people who who had their own way of thinking and doing. These were Greeks. Listen, 
These were Gentiles, though some of them were Hebrews because they became Greeks, right? They became Gentiles. But they really, I learned to understand that they were Hebrews, right? I mean, because you had synagogues in all these areas. We've been through this. We've been over this. Paul preached to Hebrews and he preached to Gentiles. He preached to bona fide, no law having uh, other nations of people that received the witness of Yusha Mashiach. Then he preached to those who were Yahudim that had lost their identity because they became assimilated into a culture that was not theirs, Americans, assimilated into a culture that was not theirs, that needed to be woke, right? Like, like us today, we needed to be awakened to the fact that we were Hebrews, but we also needed to understand we now had to keep commandments that Yahushua Hamashiach command had to keep, and we had to receive the witness that Yahushua Hamashiach has provided in order for us to be the 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 recipients of this Yeshua to participate in the kingdom of Alua that is to come in the Eretz, right? So we have Paul in Colossians the first, the third chapter, the first verse, saying that if ye then be risen. So now, if you have taken on this this witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, right? Because you have now been made alive. You have been now quickened, right? You once lived, walked, did everything that you did as Gentiles, as heathens, as the other nations, right? That was totally foreign to Yahushua HaMashiach, right? You don't do that no more because now, if you are in fact arisen, right? If you have in fact received Yahushua's Ruach HaKadosh, if you have in fact received the witness of Yahushua, right? Right? If you be risen with Yahushua HaMashiach, then you should be seeking the things which are above. Now, what things that, what things are Yahushua's referencing? What what Paul things that are Paul referencing that are above, right? Right? Well, we know the inheritance, right, that we have in Yahuwah, right, and Yahushua is in the Shamaim, right? It's 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 where the treasure is, right? It's where the eternal Yeshua is, right? Though it's coming down, right? It's there now. So we need to seek this Yeshua. We need to we need to be content with what it has to offer us, right? In the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach having received the the inheritance, having received the earnest, right? Having to re having received all that we need to get the job done in the erects. We need to be satisfied with what we look to receive in the Shamaim from Yahushua at the time in which he returns and at the time in which we are changed, right? We need to be content with that which is above, right? That which he has that he's going to ultimately bring to the erects. But we need to be satisfied with the idea, having released our Emunah and have been quickened with the Ruach HaKadosh on the inside of us, we need to be satisfied with what we are to receive in the Shamayim. Right? That's what we look to as our eternal riches. Right? We look for what we will have received, right, from the Shamaim. Now listen, now listen, now listen. It ain't talking about being in the heavens in the sweet by and by. Uh, one of these old mornings, it won't be long. It, 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 it ain't that. That's not what it is. It's Yahuwah's, right, mystery that his kingdom come to the erects where it is currently in the Shamayim, right? Where Yahushua is seated at the right hand of Yahuwah in the heavenlies, the fire above principalities and powers, right? 
This kingdom, this kingdom is coming to the Eretz. Yahushua told his disciples, listen, it's not for you to know the day nor the hour, the time or the season that the father has laid up for himself. Yeah, Yahushua don't even know, right? But we understand this, that it's coming. And we understand what's in the Shamaim right now is of value that supersedes anything that we could ask or have expect to receive in the Eretz now, right? It's the way it is. So Paul is saying, if ye be risen with Hamashiach, seek the things that are above. Don't don't get caught up in 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 this whole idea of um, the hustle. I got to get this paper. I got to get this wealth. I got to pursue riches. See, because that's what the world. That's what they clamor after. They seek to be billionaires. They want to be a millionaire. They want to have the money so that they can travel, jet set, right? Right. They want the money so that they can bling bling. They want they want the the, the stuff now. And Hasatan will give them stuff for their devotion, right? But the end result to that is eternal damnation. Right? Right? Because see, we already know that as a people of Yahuwah, when he gathers us, he's going to gather us and we're going to receive what he has for us. The treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places. Yahuwah is going to give those to us. Right? He's going to gather us. He's going to bring us the wealth of the Gentiles. Right? Right? But right now we see what we have in Imunah in the Shamaim. And that's where we put our faith in. That's what we put our Imunah in. Because we've received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. We're confident in what Yahushua Hamashiach has set forth in us. We are sons and daughters of Elua. We are seated in heavenly places in Hamashiach, right? We are far above principalities and powers. Hasatan can't do anything to us. Right, because we, we are Yahuwahs. We have his seed. He's on the inside of us. We have his Ruach HaKadosh, Yahuwah and Yahusha. We bear in our bodies his witness. He said, seek the things which are above where Hamashiach is seated at the right hand of Yahuwah. Seek the things which are above where Yahusha Hamashiach is. Seek the things that are above where Yahushua Hamashiach is. Yahushua Hamashiach has all power. Yahushua Hamashiach has received all power in the Shamaim, right? He's received all power in the Shamaim. Man, this thing bothers me. I mean, it's, it's tight around my distractions. I'm sorry. Yahushua is in the right hand in the Shamaim, right? Having been exalted to that place, right? Having received all power, right? And in his hands is his reward, right? In our hands is his reward in the Shamaim. He says, set your affections on things above, not on the things on the erect. Don't look to be satisfied with what every what the world seeks to be satisfied with and clamor after that, right? Clamor after that, right? You are a people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You have been set apart unto Yahuwah Alua for the purpose of establishing his kingdom in the Eretz, right? When you are in him, right, and you're seeking the things that are above, you're not concerned about what's in this earth. You're not concerned about the wealth that is in the earth. Now, listen. If we are blessed with wealth, it's for the advancement of the kingdom. It's what we do 
for the brethren that matter. It's what we do to remove burdens and to destroy yokes. If we find ourselves in a place where we have wealth, right? But it's not the pursuit of wealth. It's the idea if you have wealth that has been given or that you have received or that you've worked for the objective is always not to work for the wealth, but to work for the relief of the brethren, to be a blessing to the nation of Yasharah and Yahuda, and to the grafted in who has received the witness of Yahusha Mashiach. Seeking the things that are above. Listen, listen. Yahushua said, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, you shall have them, right? That's because you are Yahuwah's. You are Yahuwah's. You are his. He's yours. You are his. Listen, listen, listen. In Yahuwah, right, having received the witness, received the Ruach HaKadosh, having been made a son of Elua, a daughter of Elua, there is nothing that you don't need that you can't ask the Father for that he won't give you. There is nothing that you would need that you could not ask the Father for that he would not give you because you are his son and daughter. You keep his commandments. You walk in obedience. You've received the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the Father and the Son in you, right? You bear his name. Listen, for ye are dead and your life is hid in Yahushua Mashiach. Now see, the idea is, is that the motivation and or the pursuit of things has everything to do with you still being dead. No, you still being alive to sin. You still be an alive to your carnality or to your carnal nature. Your carnal nature is the nature that you had before you had received Yahushua Hamashiach's witness and the Ruach HaKadosh. The, before that, there was the carnal nature. The carnal nature was like horse, it's like a horse leech that says, give, give, give. I got to get, I got to get, I got to get, I got to get, I got to get. Yeah, I got to get, I got to get this paper, got to get this paper, got to get this money, got to hustle these drugs. I got to sell this dope. I got to do what I got to do. I got to, I got to swing from the stripper pole. I got to get this money. I got to get this money. I got to get this money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, it doesn't matter if I got to sell my body. I got to get this money. You know, I got to get this money because I got to get this college degree. I got to get this hustle. I got to get this money. I got to get this money. I got to move this. I got to move this. I got to move this. I got to move this weight. I got to move it. I got to get it. I got to get it gone. I got to get it. 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 That's your carnal nature. That's your sin nature. Right? That's your sin nature. Right? That's that horse leech that's constantly warning. Give, give. That's your carnal nature. That's that's being driven by, by Hasatan. Because Hasatan wants you to pursue it at all costs. Hasatan wants you to pursue these things at all costs. Listen, it doesn't matter whatever it takes to get it. I don't care who I got to step on to get it. I don't care who I got to climb on top of, who I got to pull down, who I got to expose. I don't care because I got to have this. I got to have this car. I got to have this this motorcycle. I got to have this. I got to have this. I got to have this. It's carnal. It's carnal pursuit. I got to have these things. I got to have this Gucci bag. I got to have this. This, 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 this Gucci clothes. I, I got to wear these diamonds. I got to have this. I got to have this. And if I don't have this, I'm not successful. I, I'm not making it. You know, I got to be like Jay-Z and Beyonce. I got to have it, right? Even though they sold out the witches and warlocks, right? You got to have what they have. Listen, listen, that's the carnal nature. That's the sin nature. That's the carnal nature. That's the sin nature. That's where you were. You were dead in that pursuit. That's what drove you, that sinful carnal, motivated by demons and devil's nature. 
Listen, if all you all you doing is is hustling to get money and to get things, you, you don't know Yahusha. You don't have his witness. Right now, I'm not talking about a man or a woman working. I'm not talking about that, right? Because a man don't work, he don't eat. Right? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the driving carnal nature to pursue things instead of seeking those things which are above. See, because we know that if we have need, if we ask him, he will give it to us. Right? Right? We have an expectation in the Shamayim. We have treasures that are laid up in the Shamayim. Right? We are going to receive what Yahuwah has for us in the Eretz. Treasure. He says, listen, for you are dead in your life. You are dead. You are dead to that. You are dead. You are dead. And your life is hid. Your life is hid. Right? Now, the life that he's speaking is, in the Greek, that life is Zoe. Strong's G, 2222, Zoe. Zoe. So that's the L kind of life. That's the L kind of life. That's the, the Zoe. That's the L kind of life. That is um, the absolute fullness of life. Right? So when Yahushua Hamashiach, it is established that in you is already the fullness of life. Yahushua Hamashiach's witness on the inside of you is Yahuwah and Yahushua on the inside of you. The author of everything. That which by which all things have been made is now in earthen vessels in you. That the excellency of the glory may be of Yahuwah and not of you. Listen, you have a L kind of life. Your life, right, which is Zoe, right, which is Ruach HaKadosh. Right, right, the Ruach HaKadosh life, you are hid in Hamashiach in Alua. You have Yahuwah, Yahusha, in you. You're hid, your life is hid. Your life is protected. Your life is hid. That word hid in the Greek means crypto. Strong's G, 2928. Crypto. 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 Right? Crypto. It means to hide, to conceal, to hide a thing, to escape notice. You are a hid in Yahushua Mashiach. You crypto. <laughs> it's cryptocurrency, right? This is that, that, hid currency it ain't like what you can see and handle it's kind of a a hide it it's kind of hid you know you put your money in something that you don't even really see it's there it's crypto <laughs> well you are a hid crypto in Yahushua Hamashiach he says listen when Hamashiach our life our Zoe shall appear, right? Then shall ye also appear with him in in his glory, right? So, right? We know this treasure is hid in Hamashiach, right? This treasure. It's hid in Hamashiach, this treasure, right? It's in the Shamaim. We know because that's where Yahushua Hamashiach is. But we know that when he returns or when he appears, right, this treasure is now going to be manifested in us. 
when he appeared because we're going to appear in glory with him. This treasure we have in earthen vessels, this glory, this radiance, this light, this, 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 this abundance of, 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 of righteousness, this, this blessing, this prosperity, this, everything that Yahushua is and has is going to be with us. When Hamashiach, our life, right? Because he is in us. Yahuwah and Yahushua is in us. That is the life force that we have. That's the treasure. That's what's hid in earth and vessels. The life. The Zoe. Yahuwah. The Ruach HaKadosh. The life. Our life shall appear when shall ye also appear with him in glory. We're going we gonna, we gonna to appear when he appears. In the same glory, in the same light, in the same blessing, in the same. That's why you, you, you your nature has changed. That's why we're not in pursuit of these natural carnal things. You got people working hard to get a new car, working hard to get all of this stuff. Listen, there's nothing wrong with a new car if your, your old car is not functional. It's, you know, I mean, nothing wrong with a new car. But the pursuit of things, right, right? Yahuwah knows that you need things. Right? So when you seek him in the Shamaim, the things that you need, he's going to make manifest to you. You don't have to pursue these things. Because the world pursues these things. Yahuwah knows you need a house. He knows you need a roof over your head. If you seek Yahuwah in the kingdom and you do the things that please him, obey his commandments, walk and be led by the Ruach HaKadosh, Yahuwah going to give you a house. You can give you a house debt free. Listen, let me let me let me let me share something with you, right? There was a time, right, when right, I was raising my daughters. That son he was on his own, it was just me and my girls, right? And we were living in this house that wasn't all that great, you know what I'm saying? You know, but you do what you 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 know, I was I was working two jobs. I was working two jobs and I was taking care of my kids, but I had them in a the house, you know, and, you know, they got, they got to a point where we needed to move, you know, just needed to move. And I told you, I said, you, you know what? We need to move and I need a house. I need a house. I need a house in a better neighborhood. I need a house in, I need a, a house in better conditions for my daughters. You know, I, I need, I need a better conditions, right? And right, so you know, I I, I laid it before Yahuwah, and 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 I, and I trusted he was going to respond. I did. He was going to respond, right? So right, so uh, I end up at work, go to work, and a lady that works at my job says, "Hey, well done, right?" I said, "Yeah." She said, "Listen," she said, uh, "You you 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 looking to move?" I'm like, yeah, you know, I really want to get my daughters in a better situation. She said, well, listen, I have a house, right? That's going in foreclosure. And you know, I know that it's going to take at least three, four years before they even begin the process because there's so many houses. You can live in that, you and your daughters, and you don't have to pay me nothing. You know, she said, it's been empty for a few, it's been, it's been vacant for a little while, right? It's been vacant for like two years, like a year, she said, right? She said, but you know, it's a house, you know, roof don't leak, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, you, you know, like, yeah, she said, yeah, Here, I'll, give, I'll give you the keys, you can go over there. I went over the house, house was musky, right? Right? It needed to be clean. It had cobwebs, right? But it was a house. 
I ain't have to pay nothing. Right? Nothing. So I'm living in this house. Right? We go to this house. Me and my daughters clean it up. Right? Clean it up. Move in it. Turn on the water. Turn on the electric. Have a house. Move all our stuff in there with a the backyard. I got a creek in the back that I can fish off in. Had a screen in Lanai. Two bedroom. One bath. We didn't need more than that. They cost me nothing. I lived in that house until my daughter graduated. Then I met my wife and I moved in here and married her. And we're in service over. Yahuwah gave me exactly what I needed. And I ain't pay nobody, no rent, no mortgage, no nothing. And when it was, the time was up, time was up. I lived in that house for like three and a half years. And just when it was time for me to move, because, you know, now the house was had went through the cycle and it was now, and she bought it back. So Yahuwah gave her her house back, right? And it didn't cost her nothing to get the house back. <laughs> but she sold it to me, right? She got her house back. And I moved here, married my wife, but Yahuwah did it because he knew what I needed. Yahuwah is going to do exactly what you need him to do when you pursue him. Listen, and I already told you, listen, Yahuwah has done so many things for me on a supernatural level that I knew, I know that Yahuwah is Ruach in me. I know Yahuwah's word is in me. I know Yahuwah does what he does in me. Listen, for me to live is Hamashiach. For me to die is gain. I recognize what Yahuwah is and who, what he can do, how he can provide. I refuse to pursue things. Listen. I don't care if I lose my job. Yahuwah is going to take care of me. In the pursuit of a job. Yahuwah is going to take care of me. He's going to take care of what belongs to us. He's going to do what he does for me because I have a covenant with him, because I have an agreement with him. He's going to move on my behalf. He's going, he's going to do it in the time that he's established to do. And I just got to trust him. Listen, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. Sinners have the task of gathering up to hand it over to us. All I got to do is trust you for whatever it is I need. I ain't got to pursue these things. I don't have to go to the extent that they go to to get what they want. I don't. I don't. I don't have to do it. 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 All I have to do is trust Yahuwah. All I have to do is trust Yahuwah. All I, listen, I trust Yahuwah in the times when I have abundance. And I trust Yahuwah in the times that are lean. Paul said, in all things and at all times, you know, I have all that I need. And I'm able to abound to every good work. You is going to do whatever he needs to do in me and through me because I know in whom I believed. And he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that great day. This thing is real. This is truth. But you have to be established in this, 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 this witness. You have to be established in it. You can't be a Hebrew and not established in this witness and expect to see this. You have to be established in this witness. He says, mortify your members. Mortify your members. Mortify your members, which are upon the arrests. Mortify, right? 
Now, in the Ruach HaKadosh, you don't have these things in your members. In having received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, you are not mortifying your members. You have already mortified your members. You can't sin when you have his witness on the inside of you. You won't practice commit sin. To mortify your members, he's speaking about having once done a thing. You having once lived a certain way, you have want, listen, he says, mortify, mortify, what's that word mortify means? Let's look that up in the Greek. The word mortify is Strong's G 3499, nekrao, 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 right? It means to make dead, to put to death, to slay, to derive, to de deprive of power, to deprive of power, destroy the strength thereof, right? Now here are these Gentiles, right, right, who have been used to living a certain way, right? right, have been used to, to, to conducting their lives a certain way, who have received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, right, who have received his Ruach HaKadosh, right, 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 they still walk in righteousness, right, but the, 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 the memory of this carnal way of living and doing, right, is constantly trying to re-establish itself in them, right? And Paul is saying, listen, you have to mortify. You have to slay. You have to dead. Now listen, in Hamashiach, right? Right? We already recognize that we have put off the body of sin. Right? If you be risen with Christ, right? Right? If you be risen with Hamashiach, you have already put off sin. He has quickened you. He has made you alive. By his Ruach HaKadosh, you are not subject to, you do not yield to your previous carnal nature. You do not. It does not lord it over you. It does not run roughshod over you because his seed, Yahuwah and Yahusha, remains in you because you have now received the witness. You mortify. You slay. And you do it. Right? You do it. How, how do I, how do, how do I continue to let this mind that was in Hamashiach be in you? What was in you, who's your Hamashiach's mind constantly? The Torah of truth, because he was the Torah made flesh. That's all he thought. That's all he meditated on. That's what he used to do what he did. You have to keep the basura of truth before you in order to walk in a purified state. You have already been made pure. Having received Yahushua's witness in the Ruach of Yahuwah living. Because listen, listen, the Ruach of Yahuwah ain't coming to live in you if you're a fornicator. The Ruach of Yahuwah is not living in you if you covetous. this. 
The Ruach HaKadosh is not abiding in you if you have sinned. Grieve not the Ruach HaKadosh. Mortify your members. Allow the Basora and the Torah of truth to wash your mind. Allow the Ruach HaKadosh of truth to manifest the truth of Torah and to do what it does on the inside of you, therefore having control of your mind, giving you the capacity to be led. To walk in this truth and to not yield your instruments, your body, as instruments of unrighteousness. See, because with the Ruach HaKadosh, it's impossible for you to sin. Because the seed remains in you. Let's sin. That's why, that's why Yahushua had to send the Ruach HaKadosh. Because that's the only way you're going to be a son of a Lua. That's the only way you won't, you won't make it into the kingdom. That's the only way that he's going to bring his kingdom in the arrests. He's got to start with you. You have to be an epistle written in red of men. You have to be the witness. You got to testify against sin. You got to testify to righteousness. And you have to judge because of his ruach his Basora, his Torah in you. He said, mortify your members, slave them, put them to death, right? Which are upon the earth. Mortify them, slay them, which are on the earth, because they ain't in the Shammai. Oh, no. No. See, you have to overcome in the arrets. And see, he's giving you everything you need to get the job done. He's giving you everything you need to get the job done. He's giving you everything to be a witness. He's giving you everything to go forth in power. In, ru in Ruako power, Exousius and Dunamus power. He has given you everything to have signs following. And why aren't signs following? He's given you everything you need to have signs following. Listen, I, I, I listen. I, I, I believe this. There are going to be a lot of. There's going to be a a a, a, a lot of assemblies right that have lost focus on the mission this basura must be preached this basura must be preached this word this this ruaco word this 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 basura this torah of truth must be preached right Men and women need to know that they need to receive the witness. The nation needs to know they need to receive the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. You can't mortify your members without the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? You're going to be dead in your trespasses and sins. You're going to be yet carnal. You got the more, listen, listen, listen. Yes, you have the Ruach HaKadosh, right? But you come from a reference of living a wicked, diabolical life. And Hasatan wants back in, right? You have to resist. You have to slay. You have to deaden by the Basor and the Torah of truth and the Ruach HaKadosh on the inside of you, you have to purify yourself. That which purifies is the Basor and the Torah and the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah has given you everything you need to complete the job, to do the work. 
he says, mortify your members which are upon the arrests, right, right, which are upon the earth, right? Fornication. We know what fornication is. That's pornonia, right? Right? Because these Gentiles was used to living a certain way. Pornonia is sexual intercourse, illicit sexual intercourse, right? Illicit sexual intercourse, which is adultery, right? Or sexual relationships, right? Outside of the, the bonds of marriage. Uh, pornonia fornication is homosexuality. I ain't said it. Strong's Concordance, G4202, pornonia. Right, the definition of the word of fornication is homosexuality, which is illicit sexual intercourse. I did not say it. It's in here. Even though I don't care that you know I said it, it is here in this in this blue letter Bible, right? In 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 in, in the Strong's Concordance number G4202. Right? Right? Now these Gentiles were used to fornication. They were they were used to the uh, uh, homosexuality. They were used to lesbianism. Right? They were used to intercourse with animals. They were used to intercourse with close relatives. Paul had to confront a man who was having sexual relationship with his father's wife. These things were no big deal for them. They did them. These things were, were abominable for us as Hebrews and law keepers, Torah keepers. Come on. Peter said he didn't eat any pork. He didn't eat anything unclean. He kept the Torah. He said, you, I have never allowed anything unclean to touch my lips. Which means he kept the Torah. Which means he understood that the Torah was a certain way. The Gentiles didn't have that. They didn't have that. They didn't have a Torah. They had just a way of living. But they heard about this Yahushua Hamashiach. And they believed his witness. And they received his Ruach HaKadosh, but yet they still needed to be mortified. They still needed to make sure they kill and deaden this stuff. We still need to purify ourselves. We understand Torah. I understand I ain't, I ain't can't eat nothing unclean. I ain't going to eat anything unclean. Right? I'm not going to do that. Excuse me. I understand the Shabbat. I'm not going to violate the Shabbat. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep the feast days. I'm not going to do those things. In Yahushua Hamashiach. Right? I understand now as a Hebrew, the Torah says that I, I don't cover my neighbor's wife. I don't cover my neighbor's hand servant, maid servant. I don't cover anything that belongs to my neighbor. I understand that's Torah. I ain't violating Torah. You crazy? Not me. I ain't doing that. No way. I ain't got to. Uh-uh. No, not. Nah, nah. No way. Not me. I ain't. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Because I'm mortified. I've received this witness. I understand who I am. I understand the legal commandments that you was expecting me to still keep in you, Shemashiach. Right? Just how to have that. Paul had to teach him, listen, listen, listen. What you do is you, you you don't commit fornication. You don't eat. You don't drink blood. You you, you don't eat meat offered up the idols. Uh, Paul said, the idol ain't nothing to me. But, you know, these are the things that the, the church in Jerusalem said that these are the things that you can't do. Right? He didn't say, thou shalt. And you can't, you, you can't worship other idols. Idols, no idols. No idols. Nothing to do with idols. Well, that's the commandments. That's the Torah. So in essence, he told them, these are the things that you got to obey because these are the things that you expects. Right? Now, you don't have to get circumcised because that, that wasn't your covenant. Right? And though you ain't got to participate in all this ceremonial stuff, 
that they say that you can't participate in, right? You can participate in it, even though they say you can't because you ain't circumcised because you ain't like every all the rest of the Hebrews, so you can't really participate in that stuff. I'm telling you in Hamashiach, you can. I'm telling you in Hamashiach, you have every right to observe the things that are observable to the Yahudim. Yeah, you celebrate Pentecost. He said, listen, these Gentiles needed to understand and listen, you know, we, you, know you, you lived a certain way, you, you know, you know, there's a way that you lived. He said, and it was unclean and uncleanness, right? It's uncleanness. Come on, man. It ain't rocket science. Homosexuality is uncleanness. It ain't rocket science. It's not natural. It's not rocket science. It's not procreatable. It's not rocket science. I know you don't like it, but I don't care. I ain't said it. Paul said it. And then strong letters expounded on it. Uncleanness. As a matter of fact, let's look, let's look at that. So, you know, it's unclean. Right? Unclean is Greek. Strong's G-167. Akathasia. 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 It means in a moral sense. Impurity. Of lustful. Right? Luxurious. Right? Prolificate. Impure. See, now, we knew by the Torah that it was, it was, it was, it was a violation of Torah, right? It's a violation of Torah. Hebrews knew it was a violation of Torah. Go, go sleep with another man. It's in the Torah. Woman couldn't lay with a woman as laying with a man. It was a violation of Torah. But the Gentiles didn't have that law. The Gentiles didn't have that law. They didn't have that Torah. We had that Torah. And then when, you know, when we, when we, when we started to identify with the other nations and we, we began to, we began to assimilate into their culture, right? We began to worship their elves, right? Then we took on their characteristics. But as a nation of people, we, that wasn't what we did. That wasn't who, look, you get stoned for that. You get put to death. No, that was a totally unacceptable with Yahuwah. You got to mortify the Gentiles. This was common. This was acceptable in the Greek culture. The barbarians. The barbarians. The Sinentians. Greeks. Come on, you know the Romans and them Greeks, man, they was wide open. What's that one Roman dude, Caligula? Wide open. Wide open. Inordinate affection. What are inordinate affections? Let's look at that. Strong's G, 3806, Pathos. 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 Pathos, right? It is, it is a feeling which the mind suffers. An affliction of the mind. Emotional passions. Affliction. An affliction of the mind used by the Greeks in either a good or a bad sense because the Greeks are wide open. Depraved, depraved passions, vile passions. Okay, so a vile passion is the one to have a sexual intercourse with the, with, with the animal. That's vile. The vile, vile, depraved. 
See, because listen, listen, listen. This stuff was unacceptable amongst the nation of Yasharal who served Yahuwah and obeyed his commandments. But to the Gentiles, it was it's a way of life. In and out of the temple of Diana. Right? Men, male, male whoremongers. Dressing like women, letting their hair grow long. Providing sexual intercourse with men who come in, pretending to be women. Whoremongers. Look, look that word up, y'all. Look, look this. See, we, we just made it acceptable. Now it's, it's transgender. Transgender. Or, uh, or uh, 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 transsexual or trans people that like to dress up with women. I don't know what you call them. They like to dress up. Then you got the ones that just want me just full blown, get the whole package reversed. Depraved passions. I know some of y'all ain't gonna like this, but I don't care. I ain't said this. This is in here. This is Strong's G3806 Pathos, right? It is depraved passions and vile passions, evil afflictions, right? Evil afflictions. Inordinate affections. Evil Conceptuousness. What's that word in Greek? Strong's G, 1939. Epithemia. 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 That's G1939. Right? Desires, cravings, desires for what is forbidden. Lust. So you, you got, they had to slay that. They had to slay that because that was forbidden. And no doubt Paul revealed that that in the Torah to them. You can't do that. Not in Hamashiach, that's forbidden. You got to keep Yahushua's commandments. Yahushua kept the Father's commandments. The Father says man should not lie with a man as he lies with a woman. He said a woman should not lie with a woman as a woman lies with a woman. Man. He says a man should not lie with beast. Women should not lie with the beast. You know. And why would Yahuwah need to tell the nation that unless he knew that that's what the other nations were doing? Why do we need to have these, these, these righteous laws and commandments? Right? Unless Yahuwah knew that we needed them. Right? The Gentiles didn't have these commandments. Forbidden. Desire for what is forbidden. See, and the Greeks didn't have anything they really forbade. They was like wide open. Yahushua Mashiach had some things that he forbade. Oh yeah, because he, he, he kept his father's commandments. And whatever the father forbade, he forbade it. He says covetousness, and we already know what covetousness is, right? Want something that don't belong to you. And idolatry. Yeah, all of this stuff. You Gentiles, this is your way of life. But listen, you got to mortify that. You got to, you got to keep that under. You got to slay that. You have the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah in you now. You have the Basur of Truth, the Word of Yahuwah. You got to walk in that. And you got to allow that to purify you. You got to allow that to keep you pure. You got to allow that to cause you to endure until the end. He says, for which things sake, the wrath of Alua cometh upon the children of disobedience. These are the things that the children of disobedience do. If you're a child of disobedience, then you're not a child of Alua. And if you're doing these things, 
you don't have his Ruach HaKadosh in you. Right? You don't have his Ruach HaKadosh in you. Now listen. I know you come from these things. And at one point in time, that was just the way you did and how you conducted yourself. And you know, it's strange now a little bit because, you know, you, you don't do these things no more. And everybody that you know in your area, in your town, in your city that used to hang with do it. But see, that ain't you because you have taken on the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. You see the Ruach HaKadosh, the Father and the Son now reside in you. And because of this, right, you have a witness. The witness of Yahuwah and Yahushua. You have to mortify your members. Because you're going to run into them people. You got to mortify your members. Because they're going to come at you. You got to mortify your members. You got to purify yourself even as he is pure. You got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind, your soul, your emotions, your nefesh. You have the Ruach HaKadosh of truth on the inside of you, which with the Basura and the Torah of truth is everything you need. He has provided you with everything you need to get the job done. Right? You once did this as children of disobedience, right? And the which you also walked sometimes when you lived in them. You used to live this way. It was okay to fornicate. It was okay to have a have a, a sexual relationship with someone that's not uh, uh, the, having having a sexual relationship with someone of the same gender. It was okay. You know, it's the way the Gentiles, right? They live that way. They're going to be judged by it because you who is going to judge them. Oh, you're going to judge them. They're going to be judged by it. He said, of which ye also walk sometimes when you lived in them. But now, you put it off. You put it off. You went down in baptism. You was raised under righteousness. You went under the blood of Yahushua Mashiach and it cleansed you of all sins. You received the witness and have received the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh. Now you and Yahushua lives in you. You now have put off all these Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. This is the same thing Paul told the church at Ephesus. That's what Paul dealt with with the Gentiles. The Gentiles didn't have a Torah to reflect on. They had an experience that was wide open. The Yahudim had the Torah. We had a way of understanding the living Alua, Yahuwah. We had a great cloud of witnesses who looked to Yahushua Hamashiach. And we are are, are are the recipients of this 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 ruach hakadesh, the Father and the Son in us? We have this treasure. Fill the communication out of your mouth. Listen, you you listen, listen. You ain't you ain't preaching and cussing. You ain't cussing and preaching. You ain't singing Yahuwah songs cussing. That's filthy communication. Repent. Right? Repent. And don't do it again. Ask Yahuwah to forgive you. 
to fill you afresh with his Ruach Akadesh. Because if you can do that, you ain't got it. Oh yeah, if you can cuss and you can go off and you can do all that, you don't have it. You know, so, I, listen, listen. It takes the Ruach Akadesh and the Basur of Truth in me to keep me. Right? To keep me. Right? I don't have a desire. I don't want to do anything to violate Torah. I don't want to do anything to violate Torah. Right? I, look. I keep the law, statutes, and commands. I keep the Torah. I keep his Basur. Oh, the words he's given me, I've kept them. I keep them. Right? But listen. You better make sure that you're renewing your mind, keeping the Ruach HaKadosh and the, 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 the Torah and the Basur of Truth in the forefront of this. Because Hasatan is coming. He's going to try to resurrect some stuff that you got to slay. That he's going to try to bring back because that's just what he does. He says, lie not to one another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with its deeds. Don't lie. You shouldn't, the first thing that's come to you shouldn't be a lie. You, you ain't got the rule out of this. <laughs> uh, you, lie, you lying all the time. You ain't got the rule out of this. Because you put off all these things. Right? You used to walk that way. You have received his Ruach HaKadosh. You ain't walking around with devils. And I ain't got to cast the devil out you every time I see you. You full of hell. You are yet carnal, 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 carnal. You need to have the witness. Because you ain't got the witness. And I put on the new, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created you. Renewed by the Ruach HaKadosh, the Ruach of wisdom, the Ruach of understanding, the Ruach of counsel, the Ruach of might, the Ruach of knowledge, and the Ruach of fear of Yahuwah, and the Ruach of Yahuwah. That's the new man. There's no new man without the Ruach HaKadosh. The quickening is the renewing. The quickening, the making alive by the Ruach HaKadosh is the renewing. It's the initial process to the renewal he quickened you made you alive now you have to by the ruach akadesh of knowledge and wisdom the ruach akadesh of truth mixed with the basura of truth and the torah of the truth have to continue to mortify your body which is in the earth you gave it he's giving you everything you need Yahuwah and Yahusha in you. He's giving you everything you need to get the job done. You have everything you need to get the job done. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, you have everything you need to get the job done if you've received the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. You don't need to heap heat. You don't need to heap teachers unto yourself. You have everything you need. If you have received the Ruach HaKadosh, right? Now listen, if you're a new convert, you need to find a place where you can receive a dedicated word, right? A word that is Ruach, that have the Ruach HaKadosh. You, someone who, who, who you know that will give you the Ruach HaKadosh and the word of truth. And you get there and you learn, right? You learn. 
you learn. By the Ruach Kakadesh, you read, you study, you listen, and you learn. But don't go listening to everybody. You pulling up on everybody. Oh, man. Listen, girl, you need to listen to this brother over here. You need to listen to this sister over here. You need to listen to, that, listen to all these people. You need to be led by the Ruach Kakadesh. And find you a place where you can hear a dedicated word and know that that word is Ruach. Because the Ruach HaKadosh in you is going to agree with the Ruach HaKadosh in that individual. And you're going to grow. And you're going to flourish. Because of the Ruach HaKadosh truth. He says, seeing that you put on the old man and his deeds. He said, ye have put on the new, which is renewed in the knowledge. Renewed in knowledge. New, re knowledge. That's the Ruach HaKadosh. You're renewed in the knowledge or the revelation of knowledge or the truth of knowledge that is in the Ruach HaKadosh. After the image of him that created him. So you're renewed in knowledge after the image of who you, Shemashiach, that created him. Right? Where... There is neither Greek nor Jew, no circumcision or uncircumcision, barbarians, Sanithians, bond nor free, but Hamashiach all and in all. Now listen, now listen, now listen, now listen. There's a difference, right? There's an obvious difference between Yahudim and the Greeks. There's a difference between the circumcision and the uncircumcision. There's a difference. There's covenants. There's differences, right? There's a difference between the barbarians and the Sinithians. There were, there's a difference, right? What Paul is saying that at the end of the day, we all have to receive the witness. You could be Greek. And receive the witness and you're still going to be Greek. You can be Yahudim and receive the witness. And you're still going to be Yahudim. Practicing circumcision. Obeying the Torah. Keeping the feast days. You're going to still be who you are. Yahuwah's people. Right? Right? You can be barbarian. Barbarians. It was like. They was, they was the added kind of people, right? But with the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, you're still barbarian. I mean, you still have a culture and an identity, but you have Yahushua Mashiach. And with that comes an obedience to what's right. And Sinithian, same thing. So it's not that there's a there's there's no difference because there is a difference. But the thing that represents us all is that we all need to receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach in order to participate in the kingdom. We all have to receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach to be a part of the kingdom. Because Yahushua is all. His witness. And his witness is in all. By the Ruach HaKadosh. Because you have to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? He says, so therefore, as elect. Right? You who we've quickened. Who were dead in your trespasses and sins. Where in times past you walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. The Ruach of the Ruach that now work within the children of disobedience, right? He says, you have been elevated to the status of being his elect, his chosen, because you've received his Ruach HaKadosh. Put on as the elect of the Lua, holy and beloved, mercy. Make sure you have and demonstrate mercy. 
Make sure you demonstrate kindness. Right? Make sure you are humbleness of mind. Humbleness of mind. Make sure you function in meekness and long suffering. Make sure that you are demonstrating these qualities. Right? Meekness. Long suffering. Right. Kindness. Put on bowels of mercy. You know, listen, there are some people that that will be in in this awakening, right? Uh, that are Gentiles. Who want to walk in this truth and want to be taught by someone who has the Ruach HaKadosh that they respect and receive a word from. You demonstrate mercy. You demonstrate bowels of mercy and compassion. Right? You be kind. You be humble. Of mind. You be meek. You be long-suffering. You be forbearing. It's going to be a challenge sometimes to deal with certain people. But you can do it. Because you have Yahuwah's Ruach in you. Don't give up on people so fast. Don't give up on people so fast. Forbearing one another. Forgiving one another. And if a man has a quarrel against any, even as a Mashiach forgave, so also you forgive. Listen. I have been called to wake up Yaakov and Yahuda. Right. Yahuwah has called me to wake up Yaakov and Yahuda. But I also know that he's going to draw others that aren't Yaakov and Yahuda. And them I must welcome also. Forbearing one another. Forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as a Mashiach forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, love. That is the bond of perfection. Greater love have no man than this. The one who laid out his life for his friend. Love. He says, let Shalom of Yahuwah rule in your heart. Let it rule in your heart. To which also ye are called in one body and be thankful. There's still one body in Yahushua Mashiach. It's the body of Hebrews mixed with Gentiles, wild olive branches, grafted in. This is the witness of Yusha Mashiach. He says, 
and let the peace, the shalom of Yahuwah rule in your hearts to the which you were called in one body and be ye thankful. One body, Yahudim. One body, Greek. One body, Senethians. One body, Barbarian. One body circumcision, one body uncircumcision. Do Shamashiach. Listen, let the word of Hamashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing in the Ruach HaKadosh. Let, let Hamashiach, let the word of your Hamashiach, let the Ruach HaKadosh of your Hamashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom. The Ruach HaKadosh of Wisdom. There's no wisdom apart from the Ruach HaKadosh. The words of Christ dwelling in you richly, richly dwell in you because of the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, you ain't gonna even remember the words of Yehusha HaMashiach without the Ruach HaKadosh. Uh, you ain't gonna even remember the words of Yahushua Hamashiach without the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahushua said to his disciples, tarry and wait because the Ruach HaKadosh is gonna bring to your remembrance the words which I've spoken unto you. You ain't gonna remember without it. Let the words of Yahushua Hamashiach dwell in you richly by the Ruach HaKadosh in all wisdom, the Ruach of wisdom, teaching and admonishing you in songs and hymns and Ruachal songs. Singing in the Ruach HaKadosh. Singing with grace in your hearts to you. Use everything that's available to you in the Ruach HaKadosh. The Basura of Yahushua, the Torah of Yahushua. The wisdom of the Ruach HaKadosh. The wisdom and understanding, counsel, might, knowledge, the fear of Yahuwah. We use it all. Like it, whatsoever you do in the Ruach HaKadosh, in word and deed, do all in the name of Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, giving thanks unto Elua, the Father, by him. So everything that you do, do, having received the witness. Led by the Ruach HaKadosh. Whatsoever. Do in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, the witness, whatever. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's all I have. Yahuwah, I pray right now for this, these that are under the sound of my voice. I pray that your word will go out and not return unto them void. That it would accomplish that which is sent forth to do. By your Ruach HaKadosh, I pray that you, by the spirit of wisdom and revelation concerning your knowledge, make alive, quicken Yahuwah, these your people. Make alive, quicken these your people, Yahuwah. Make alive, quicken these your people. By your Ruach HaKadosh, quicken them, Yahuwah, quicken them. By your Ruach HaKadosh, Cause them to receive and understand the witness and the significance of having received the complete unified witness of the Shamaim and the Aretz. Yahuwah allowed them to let the mind that was in Hamashiach be in them. Yahuwah, I pray for those that are sick, those that are struggling in affliction in their bodies 
Yahuwah, I speak a word of healing over them in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. You said these signs shall follow them to believe. Yahuwah, I speak a word of healing over them in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahuwah, I take authority over every satanic and demonic attack over them. Yahuwah, I say no weapon turned against them prospers according to your word. I agree with them that they are free and delivered. Yahuwah, fill them with your Ruach HaKadosh. Forgive them of their sins in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahuwah, I thank you for your besor of truth. As I continue to yield myself as an instrument of an instrument of righteousness, Yahuwah, keep me. Keep that which I've committed unto thee against that great day. I thank you for my reward in the Shamaim. I thank you for having re having received the earnest of my inheritance. I give you praise. Having received the down payment that you have provided, I give you praise. Yahuwah, I thank you for all that you are and all that you do. Continue to manifest your word, your basor, your Torah to those who have an ear to hear. And I give you praise in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, beautifully, wonderfully made. Listen, Yahuwah has favored you. Go in the strength and the power of his Ruach Kakadesh. And with that, I say, listen, shalom, shalom, shalom. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.